Hi guys, welcome to this quick tutorial about how to find the perfect aspect ratio for thumbnails in YouTube. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult because YouTube prefers a certain aspect ratio. I can't tell you at the moment, you can Google this up. It's about maybe 700 to 1280 or I don't know, something like that. Um, a silly number, maybe they are changing it. I, I, I have really no idea. So I, I don't want these, to Google this up or use any graphics program to do this. Uh, usually I just make a quick and dirty screenshot and that's it. Most of the times it works, but sometimes it provides you with a really, really bad, really dirty, I mean really ugly uh, thumbnail. Like here we have this. I have just made a screenshot of this torch. Uh, the picture is really wide, like uh, some panoramic picture, not very high, but uh, very, very wide. So what Google did, Google filled it up with black on the top and black at the bottom, which looks really, really uh, weird or bad. So what can you do? So we go to the uh, video manager, the editor. So you see here we have the three thumbnails which Google provides and at the bottom always the thumbnail which you can upload or change. So we can change the image to another one I have already done. So we can look for pictures I have prepared today. Here you see one did, which is more high uh, than white. That's uh, quite narrow. So yeah, this is the one I have been using. That's another possibility. So more like 3 to 4 uh, instead of 9 to 16 or something like that, really wide. So we take the 3 to 4 and watch how it will look. Of course, we already can see it here, how it will look. So that means it looks really good. So that means if you are, look, uh, if you are uh, taking a narrow picture, Google will fill it up or Google will cut it, so no problem at all. You will, you won't have any strange borders or something like that. So, but what can we do if you like the uh, more the other picture? We can go back, we cancel, we leave it, um, we go back to this one. So we still have this ugly picture. So let's say we love this really, we really love this picture. We don't have a a narrow version or something like that. We really want this. We just get want to get rid of this border. What can we do? Um, so here's a, a button which says download image. So we now go to download and wait and it's downloaded and show in folder um, and click on edit. Okay, now we are at the Windows Paint and we have this picture. And the good thing now is we have the perfect ratio which Google wants. And we can maybe look it up and check what they provided. It's 640, uh, 408, yeah, whatever, 640 to 480 or 480 to 640. That's, I think, 324. Um, yes. Um, okay, so what can we do? Of course, we can go ahead. Oh, I'm very sorry. That was, of course, you have to select I mean, we can fill it with white. I don't know why it's not working. 
usually we should be able to do that if it doesn't work I haven't been using this paint for a while so let's just go ahead and delete the black things like this so it's a little bit yeah it's quick and dirty so we just go save this and we go to here uh, change the image go to downloads uh, select pictures from today so here we are with our changed picture and hopefully it will have no borders as you can see now we have the perfect ratio as Google wants us to do uh, we can save that go back and also on the overview there should be no border so you see there's just this icon no border no nothing so this is how I usually do this uh, I hope it works for you too there of course are a lot of different possibilities different options to do that that's the way I do this uh, maybe it helps you if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time